But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we have begun our retreat and I believe on a right note of thanking God, of invoking His blessings, His grace, His spirit. And I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful experience here and I have seen for the past eight years in this ministry, whatever be the retreat and the number, English or Kannada or Konkani, the number does not matter. The more we, you know, we are open to the Lord, His Spirit, His mercy, Lord blesses us. I believe this way that the Lord comes down to our level of relationship, to your level, where you are. He is not a God who is up above. He is a God who is with us who comes to our level of relationship, wherever you are. So don't, sometimes we think we are sinners, so God is not approachable to us. No. For God, you and I, we are, before we are sinners, you and I, we are His children. We belong to Him. So, with that, uh, these thoughts, these sentiments, it is entered into this Eucharist also. Of course, of course, we know we are sinners. We are in the year of mercy. Pope Francis said three things when he gave us this year of mercy. He said, I proclaim a year of mercy to the entire church because he said three things. Which are the three things you remember or you have heard of? One, he said, we are, we are sinners. Second, he said, we are Humble. Two. Three. Third thing he said, we are poor. Sinners, humble and poor. Who are they biblically? People who are humble, people who are poor, people who are sinners are the ones who depend on God. Who depend on God. I'm sure you and I, we depend on God. That's why we are here. If we don't depend on God, we should have been somewhere else. You see, God has brought us here. So let us be thankful to Him, grateful to Him. So as we come before Him, let us close our eyes. As we prepare ourselves to hear Him, to listen to His word, to receive Him in this sacrament, His body and blood. Let us acknowledge our sins, our failures, our shortcomings, and ask pardon and mercy from the Lord. Let us say together, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, bless me, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, 
they shall now be the first of those to go into exile, and the revelry of those who stretch themselves shall pass away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell down, fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in haste, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I, for I am in anguish in, his, in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone, would ri someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, just a short reflection today. You know, once, we back some years ago, there was a girl who came for a retreat Sunday. As usual, we began our retreat at 6 o'clock, and I told her, you have come for visa. Pointing at her, said, you have come for visa. Is it true? No, I didn't ask, is it true at all? But I told her, you have come for visa. There are many reasons why we come for retreat, maybe some for visa, or good health, or this, that, whatever. Maybe that's how we come. That's how the Lord brings us here. And this girl, of course, you know, after two days she met me. She said, Father, yes, I came for visa only. How did you come to know? I don't know, but then the Lord knows your heart and mind. Why you come, why have you come, all that. Fine. Then she told me, Father, from that day, from Sunday, when you pointed out to me and said you have come for visa, I stopped praying for visa. Then what are you going to do now? said, now I don't want visa. Then what do you want? said, I want the agent of the visa. Who is that? Who is the agent? Holy Spirit. God. God can give you everything. Yeah. He can take care of your material things and moreover, He can take care of our even Spiritual things, you know. He has given himself to us totally and completely his life and he has laid down, you know, uh, his life for us. That is a, 
uh, today in the readings through the readings you know we heard beautiful maybe we can ask this question what is the kingdom of god now in matthew chapter 6:33 we read the word of god tells us you know the word matthew 6:33 will say strive first strive first the for the kingdom, kingdom of god, of god and, his and his will and all these things and the rest will be added so this girl she is an i don't want visa i want jesus and what will you do she had given her papers and everything advance some money to the agent and all she said after this ready it i'll go back take the money take the papers back i don't want visa i want jesus first and she did that after the retreat she went and took the entire thing back the money and the papers documents whatever she had given she took it back and she said i don't want visa i got jesus now so i want jesus so she started her life can entirely a new life all together you know she had done a bsc nursing when she did a bsc nursing you no know, she was not with jesus she was in the world i always tell people there are two ways in this world you can be either with god you can be uh, doing his will and seeking his kingdom or you can doing you can be doing the will of who is not god's will but your own will and of the world way of god and way of the world so you can have only two choices no neutral choice either you choose god or choose the world kingdom of god or kingdom of this world and the ruler of this world who is the ruler of this world satan definitely so god or satan god or world so she said no when i did my bsc i was not with god so now i want god i want jesus i don't want visa so she got everything back and she may be spent another 3 months praying doing some retreats and praying and finally she enrolled in herself in a college and did her msc nursing and when she did her msc nursing and with jesus now and she was interested in god and jesus not seeking the will her own will or not choosing world so now at the end of those two years when she did her msc you know what happened to her she stood first in the in the entire university and she got distinction she said if not for jesus i wouldn't have got So now she has not gone abroad or somewhere in any other country. No, she is here only in Father Mullahs. She is teaching as a lecturer now. Some years, you know, but still she says, "I want Jesus," and she has made a choice for God, His kingdom. So, what is the kingdom of God today? If Lord tells us, "Okay, seek first the kingdom of God, His will, and rest will be added." you will get plenty of things visas you will not only get one two three also you might get there are people who have come now recently one man writes an email to me he came for a retreat from bangalore two years no work and he told me father i know many people no those who are conducting retreats have attended many of the retreats but i can't go and tell them anything so i have come for a retreat now So now tell me father i am struggling why now i told him now uh, let's see we'll meet we'll see where we are where you are seeking god's will or you are journeying with god or in the world let's say so i maybe i talked to him i don't know what i don't remember but he went back after the retreat he understood what was wrong He started living his life, started praying, and now he writes to me, "Father, I got a job now after two years. We're in Bangalore itself, and he's very grateful to God. And I believe when you journey with God, you and I, when we do His will, when we you know want the king, when we become part of the kingdom of God, what is kingdom of God?" No, some time ago I met a lady who came for retreat. 
after four or five days of retreat she comes to me father what is the will of god for me tell me word of god is telling us seek first the kingdom of god and his will no his will what is the will of god for us what is the will of god for you for me what is the will of god how to discern the will of god now this lady comes to me after her retreat four days five days she spent her time in retreat and she comes to me and asks me father tell me what is the will of god for me i told her lady how can i tell you what the will of god is for you how can i tell you right now as you ask what is the will of god for me how can i tell you now to discern the will of god to know the will of god what we need to do hmm? we need to build our life on the lord his word his word so we are here today beginning our retreat today to maybe examine and see have i built my life on the word or on the world two choices and make a choice today make a decision as you begin our retreat have i built my life or on the word or on the world very important saint paul in his letter to romans chapter 12 verse 2 he says to know the will of god what we need to do you see beautifully puts it this way do not be conformed do not be conformed to this world to this world but be transformed but be transformed by the renewing of your mind by the renewing of your minds you say then so that you may discern what is the will of god what is good and acceptable so you see how to discern the will of god to build our life on the word first begin with word If you live on the word on God, then you will be able to discern the will of God. Now I ask you a question: What is the kingdom of God? Will of God, you know. When you build your life on the word and you journey with God, you will know the will of God. Definitely, Lord will tell you what to do, how to go about, how to live, how to pray, all that. Now, what is the kingdom of God? no kingdom of god and king of kingdom of the world or of god of satan or whatever what is the kingdom of god kingdom of god again saint paul he tells us lord jesus said kingdom of god is where kingdom of god is within you it is there within you no one will say it is there it is here uh, it is there within you and saint paul again romans chapter 14 17 he will say through his word kingdom of god is not in eating and drinking that's not the kingdom of god kingdom of god the uh, message of the readings today is very clear and that's where you know these three things are enough or saint paul says today for the kingdom king- of god the kingdom of god is not food and drink food and drink no but but, but righteousness righteousness and peace peace and joy and joy in, in the, the holy spirit holy spirit righteousness that's the message of the first reading today amos was telling he was actually condemning rich people for what for the atrocities they are committing against the poor our god is a god of justice always always now god cannot take the side of the injustice he will not take he takes the side of the just people justice always stands for justice so kingdom of god is righteousness and peace peace definitely when we journey with god there is a lot of peace in your life in your heart last joy in the holy spirit joy find joy in god find joy in journeying with god to surrender everything to lord we ask the lord to help us to grant us his grace to cleanse us with his holy spirit with his precious blood to
Please also bring before the Lord all the other intentions, intentions of this center, of those people who have asked us to pray for them and for whom we have promised our prayers. So also pray for peace in the world, peace in our country. We find a lot of tension along our border between India and Pakistan. Pray for peace in our country. Pray for peace in our states, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Bless all our intentions, our personal intentions too. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Offer it to Him. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and ever good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Be a 
created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection and until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice Look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize in the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ may he make of us an ever- everlasting gift to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints glorious martyrs on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope aloysius paul our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion o merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life 
give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen sir and our anxieties our troubles our sicknesses our sins our sinfulness to the lord let us ask the lord to heal and deliver us keeping this intention before the lord let us pray together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress every anxiety worry and disease lord as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the, for the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me into judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world lest thou art us call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed the body of the lord jesus christ be with you oh master when i am weak you are the treasure that i seek you are my all in all Remember your word to your servant O Lord by which you have given me hope this is my comfort when i am brought low let us pray may this heavenly mystery O Lord restore us in mind and body that we may be cohesive in glory with Christ 
to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death who lives and reigns forever and ever ah